this video, I'll be discussing whether sending the exact same cold email multiple times can affect your deliverability. I'm George, I'm the founder of Email Chaser. Let's get into this video. The short answer is yes. If you send the exact same cold email too many times, then your deliverability will be negatively affected, meaning that your emails will go to spam. What I'm saying is that if you send the exact same email, for example, a thousand times, then your emails will go to spam. Obviously sending the same email 10 or 20 or 30 times is not a big deal, but once you start reaching a higher volume of sending, you need to change the copy of your email so that each email is slightly different. Otherwise, email service providers, such as Gmail and Outlook, are gonna see that your email count is sending the exact same email at a very high rate, and they're gonna think that that's spammy behavior, and they're gonna send your emails to spam. Up until now, the cold email community has been using something called Spintax, which is a way of inserting a text into your email template, which then will automatically rotate the word that is used in each email that is sent to add some kind of variation to your emails. But Spintax sucks, it's not that effective. It's sort of old technology. So instead of using Spintax, we've developed a new way of doing this email chaser. As far as I'm aware, we're the only people doing this. What we've done is we've integrated OpenAI's LLM into our product so that when you write your cold email and you click send, using OpenAI's AI, uh, we actually automatically in the background change the text of your emails so that each email that is sent is slightly different while still maintaining the original message of the first email that you that you wrote. Obviously, this is only being applied to when you're sending a high volume of cold emails. If you're sending one email at a time individually to each lead, then we don't apply this feature. But if you upload a CSV file to your campaign, and for example, you might have a thousand leads in that CSV file, thousand people that you want to send this email to, in that situation, then we automatically will change the text of each email that's sent out so that each email is slightly different. I'm going to show you what this looks like now in our dashboard. I'm inside my email chaser dashboard and you can click the create campaign button. Once you get here, you can name your campaign, whatever you want. I'm just going to name this campaign one and you then click next. You get to this page. This is the page where you're able to select all the different sender email accounts that you want to connect to this campaign and send emails from. I only, ha I only have one email account connected currently, but we allow you to connect in a limited number of sender email accounts. And once you get to this page, you're able to choose between these two options. If you select the first option, which is one lead at a time, then the feature that I was just describing, where we use OpenAI's AI technology to automatically change the wording slightly of each email, that will not be applied here. So if you want to just manually send one email at a time to each particular lead and fully customize it, we won't apply this to that. So your emails will be unchanged. However, if you select the second option, which says from a CSV file, then in this particular situation, we will be applying that feature so that each email that you send is slightly different. And again, you might think that's not a big deal, but it makes a really big difference to deliverability, especially when you're sending a high volume of cold emails. You might upload 2000 leads to your CSV file into your campaign. If your campaign has 2000 leads and you send the exact same email to all 2000 leads, even using spin tax, they're probably going to go to spam because spin tax doesn't really work. But if you're using email chaser, then due to what we've built here, every email will be slightly different. So for example, if your email says something like, did you get my last email? The next email might say something like, did you catch my last email? And all these little changes, which spin tax can never achieve are now being achieved due to this new technology. And we're really excited to have built this and to share it with everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more videos about cold email and sales, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to start sending cold emails, then check out Email Chaser. You can sign up for a free account and get started today. We're all in one platform for sending cold emails. We built Email Chaser specifically for this purpose. I hope to see you in the next video.